What a beautiful spot we have here, Chris. Vines behind us, wines in front of us. Yep. <laughs> now, are these some of the standouts from this year's Holiday Wine Companion? Yes, they are. So this is our our flagship white wine, the mm -hmm. Vat One Semillon. Yep. So we release a few vintages. So the current release is now the 2013, mm -hmm. which is just in the in the Holiday Companion now. So I think okay. 97 points. And then wow. the 2005, which is maybe one of the most famous ones ever. So it's a museum release we've got now. Okay. And I think that did very well in last year's Companion. And the 2018, wow. which is the sort of the sneak preview. Yep, all yep. right. Well, sh should we start with that one? I certainly think we should, okay. yes. So this is the youngest. The, the youngest. So this has been bottled um, about two months, so nice sort of pale colour, nice green, and you know you just need a bucket of oysters or yeah. some sashimi or something. Oh, It'd be perfect. My yeah. That's really good. Yep. So no oak, all unwooded. Mm. It's not like Shiraz or Chardonnay where the winemaker has decisions they need to make. So which which way am I going to go? Okay. So uh, Semillon, it's really all about the vineyard and nothing else. Right, so it all goes back to the upkeep of the vines. That's right. Yeah. Okay, well we should move on to the next one. Yes, we should. So we'll put those here. So now is where you see the magic starting to happen, as they say. So this okay. is the 2013. An award winner. An award winner. So this is the one we've just released. So when we bottled this, straight into our temperature controlled cellars for five years okay. before it gets released to the world. You'll see now is where the greatness of Semillon starts to shine. Okay. So you'll see a little bit darker colour, but then as soon as you smell that wine, Ooh. it smells completely different. Yeah, it does. So sort of like lemon curd and even a bit of sort of buttered toast almost. Yeah. Like, yeah. So now you're seeing that richness on the palate so then the wine's becoming more complex and more concentrated, but the acidity on the finish is kind of what is the hallmark of these wines. Mm -hmm. But what it's all about is the 2005. Of course. So I think we should try that. So this wine has won, as you'll see, 34 trophies and 57 gold medals. Wow, so, I'm feeling very um, lucky today. The wine show judges certainly like it. So you see a little bit more color, yep. but still green, isn't it? So this is one of the best ones ever made at Tyrrells. Wow. So this is actually, um, I know we're talking about the Halliday Wine Companion yeah. today, but this is one of James Halliday's favourite wines. So every year I send him a case of this. Really? And it keeps him, <gasps> keeps him going. Yeah, oh, he'd love this. Oh, wow. So that wine to me is still, still such a baby mm. for 13 years really? old. Really? And it's, it's really tightly coiled still, mm -hmm. but you can tell it's got some some inner power and concentration, and that wine will just live forever. Oh, really? So how it's, long could you sell this one for? I think that is a sort of 30 to 40 year proper, well, we see how young it looks now, 13. Really? It almost looks younger than the 2013, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. In some respects. It's yeah. just a, an absolute uh, freak of a vintage. Wow, mm. I didn't know you could do that with a white no, wine. That's right, that's what makes it so unique and yeah. so interesting. Yeah. And what makes uh, this place so special. Yeah. You know, you don't have, it's not about the marketing, it's not about all that stuff, it's about, mm. What's in the glass? Well, thank That's you very you much. For. I feel like I've been treated so well here and it is so special. And you know, they talk about paddock to plate, but this is like paddock to pallet. So yeah, the <laughs> vineyard for this is literally just there. Just there. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's about as good as it gets. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for coming. Thank you.